songs to play to cool people down, right? So our bodies are constantly exposed to various toxins from the air that we breathe to the food that we eat, the products that we use, right? Yeah, so learning how to jumpstart and enhance our body's natural detoxification systems is essential. And we're kicking off this first day of summer with some easy detox practices. Dr. Shivani Amin, a functional medicine physician, is joining us this morning with some tips. So good morning to you. Good morning, morning to you guys. Thanks for being here. Of course. Thank you for having me. So we just had uh, a chef on just a few minutes ago talking uh -huh. about how we should hydrate. And is that the first step <clears throat> we should do every morning when we wake up? Yes. Hydration is key because it helps you support your detox organs, right? Your liver, your kidney, your skin, your lymphatic system. And so we, especially during the summer months, most of us don't get enough water. Mm. And so the first thing I tell people to do in the morning is to drink a, drink a warm glass of water with, with lemon because it helps to really uh, influence the digestive juices and your colon and your small intestine basically your gut is your biggest detox organ mm. why warm because that helps to basically help with the digestive juices mm. in your stomach right yeah. the the more warm it is and that's water. before you grab the cup of coffee yes right? so that's yes like that I'm is not key. Not to drink water. I'm not <laughs> to drink my water. Um, so you also recommend this thing. It's called dry brushing. Yes. So you're not talking about your hair either. What, what are we doing here? <laughs> no. So dry brushing is when you just literally take a brush and you start to exfoliate the skin. It helps to basically stimulate your lymphatic system. And what that does is your lymphatic system is one of your biggest detox uh, systems in your body as well because it removes the toxins from the tissue and through the blood and helps you eliminate it through your skin. Mm. Yeah, and for those who aren't familiar, there's a special dry brush that you use. You don't just use your hair brush. No, no, no. <laughs> you can actually Google or I go on totally Amazon. I was totally going home and using a hair brush. <laughs> I wasn't I was saying you. Do it. I wasn't saying you. No, no I was gonna do it. they're like soft. They're more soft. It's and so like it's straw, more, right? Yes. Yes. And, and is there a spe uh, special way that you're supposed to do it and like parts of the body you're supposed to do first? Or? Well, you, you're supposed to start at your feet because uh -huh. that influences, there's meridians, so there's like energy points on the bottom of your feet. So you start there oh. and then you just go all, all the way up to the body. Wow, I'm yeah. gonna try that. I'm yeah. definitely gonna try that. Let's talk about movement because we saw all these people doing yoga out in Times Square today for the first day of summer. They're gonna be there all day. And so you're saying kick off the morning with movement. Yeah. Does it have to be yoga? It doesn't have to be yoga, but yoga is really great because it helps you be in the present moment, right? And really in your body and out of your thoughts. So yoga and some small, I, I would say gentle stretching in the morning is really good to wake up the body and warm up the body. And then in the afternoon when uh, we are usually working, what should we be doing? It's the best way is to just go outside, right? Mm, just take a, a walk. take a yeah, take a walk. Even if it's for five or 10 minutes, at least you're getting your blood flowing throughout your body. So don't shut down right away. <laughs> Even as exhausted as we are, it's like, right. okay, get out there. Yeah. Well, you're talking about when you eat to have a detoxifying lunch. So obviously there's so many options in New York City when you're going for lunch, but what is a detoxifying one? Is it all vegetables? Not all vegetables, okay. but vegetables have fiber, right? Yeah. So it's always good to get vegetables in your diet as well as fruits and like leafy green, re leafy green vegetables yeah. because it has the most amount of fiber and fiber is a natural detoxifier. It binds to toxins in your stomach and helps you excrete it and mm. helps you have regular bowel movements. And so, also eat lean proteins. Yes, yeah, so yeah. when you get back from that lunch. Mm -hmm. better, 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 better. <laughs> bathrooms better be cleared out. You know, we've always, always heard a lot of folks here at work, especially in the morning, talking mm -hmm. about these these detox, like five day detox, three day detox, cleanses. Well, yeah, these cleanses. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us more about those, and do you recommend those at certain times of the year, or should you do them mo more than one? You time can of the year? do those, but that's basically what you're doing is you're supporting your detox organs, right? Mm -hmm. Like kind of what I said in the beginning. So your liver, your kidney your your gut essentially that's what you're doing so in long term it doesn't really help and so it's always important to really be mindful of your nutrition movement and like deep breathing because that really helps you ex expel carbon dioxide and toxins out of your system as well mm -hmm. yeah when we're talking about detox obviously there's a digital detox before you go to bed to help you sleep but mm -hmm. we're almost out of time so i want to get some magnesium mm -hmm. and what exactly that does for you so there's so much buzz about magnesium. I know, and I keep hearing it. Rightfully <laughs> so, because magnesium is responsible for, responsible for 300, 300 biochemical reactions in the body. You literally need magnesium for energy, right? And so it also decreases inflammation in the body. It helps your nervous system calm down. So it's really great to take right before sleep. Hmm. 
Right. And your body detoxes the most before you sleep, yeah. well, during sleep, right? Without, so, so not melatonin, take the magnesium. No, yeah, because melatonin is actually a hormone, right? Mm. So for certain people, it's, it's not good to do. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So we've learned something new. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I'm, going, I'm, buying, <laughs> I'm buying a brush and magnesium on my way home. Dr. Amin, great to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for great having me. Great to meet you.